my dear student just like exploratory employment interview we have a telephone screening interview so as the name indicate the telephone screening interview main purpose is to screening out the candidates for the in depth job interview so telephone screening is intended to accomplish one of the two objectives what are those objectives first one to establish continued interest in a job applicant that result in the scheduling of an appointment to meet in person for an in depth interview so this can be one purpose that you just want to establish the interest with the applicant who is very much suitable and just want to ask some certain job related basic questions so you can ask further questions in the in depth job interview this can be one objective to develop the continued interest to establish the continuous interest in a job applicant the second interest can be if it is not an interest to determine that an applicant's qualifications do not sufficiently meet the job specification sometimes you have seen the job applicant and you have seen that these major job specifications are not much relevant to your job position and you just want to determine of the applicant's suitability on the phone and if it is not suitable then obviously you can refuse applicant in a very initial stage under no circumstances should telephone screening be viewed as a substitute for the face to face interview as we discussed in a previous session about the exploratory employment interview that telephone screening interview is not also the substitute of any face to face interviewing so you should not consider it as a substitute and you should not make a decision based on telephone screening interview for the selection of the candidate successful telephone screening depends on establishing and following a certain format so what is a format that format is very important to begin with it is usually wise to contact contact applicants at their home during non working hours so it's better to contact applicant at the non working hours if someone is working in some other companies if you would ask question if you would make a call and he would be on another job obviously it is just a wastage of time so contact person in non working hours so you can ask some certain important question then identify yourself and explain the purpose of your call tell them that who you are from where you are calling what is your purpose why you are calling to him and also confirm the individual interest in the specific job sometimes you are calling to the individual and the individual is not interested at all in the job and you are just wasting your time and you are wasting the time of the company and you are wasting the time of the applicant as well so don't don't prolong the call if the person is not interested in the job suggest that the applicant allot anywhere from 15 to 45 minutes for the screening call and again we have to focus on 15 to 20 minutes is considered sufficient for non exempt level applicants mean non professional level applicants and 30 to 45 minutes for a professional applicants like managers and doctors and engineers when the specified specified time arrives to call the applicant back describe the available position in the start Be, being careful not to identify the qualities being sought in the desired applicant so it's not a good idea to tell them that what kind of qualities we are desiring to have in you so we will ask certain question in the in depth interview so don't discuss such kind of things in the telephone screening interview and encourage the applicant to ask questions related to the specific openings or the company so better to ask questions which are very much related to the company which are very much related to the job and if he is able to answer such kind of questions then it is a good idea to prolong the interview and then it is a good idea to screen out the candidates for the for, for the in depth job interview and if it is not related and if it is not a suitable candidate it is better to refuse during the call so you should not put the candidate on a wait or you should not put the candidate's name in the final list of the candidates for the further in depth face to face interview